Hi, 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 hi. I have moved now to the reformer for short box abdominal um, variations. And I want to show you, I hope you can see this. I learned this from my one of my mentor teachers, Marie Jose Blom, Long Beach Dance Conditioning. Not uh, traditionally you put the short box up against the shoulder rest, but she taught me this moving it to the front of the carriage. Because when you sit and you hook under the strap and you're really far forward, like I actually like to start with, with my sit bones nearly kind of falling off the front um, <clears throat> versus back and then the legs are relatively straight, it does disengage the hip flexors a little bit more readily. Um, I also don't load up the springs because then you will be able to tell if you start pushing off your feet to stabilize too much. So that's another way to avoid cheating. Uh, this is an Allegro 2 and this has a foot bar cover. You can see the seam on the cover, that's the middle, so I line everything up there or the middle spring is the middle option of these tools. Uh, the circle and or a squishy ball. So let's see how we'll start first. Oops, that's not going to work. We'll do that right close. All right. <clears throat> so starting in neutral, you know if the arms are extended in front, it gives you a little bit more leverage help. I'm engaging my inner legs. I do keep the legs touching. I elevate my spine on my in breath. As I exhale, I'm gonna roll my pelvic wheel back, lengthening out. So we avoid the dump, right? You're working your best. I have a little engagement into the ring, not to squish it, always challenging to keep talking as we're doing and showing. Work till we know that your lumbar spine is no longer flexing. May or may not get the sacrum down, may or may not get part of L5 down. You'll feel your little, little tremor of truth, you breathe in there. And you can option and torture yourself or your client to exhale and stay. Or just come up right away. I like to give a little lengthening here. Helps me re-elongate my spine. Uh -huh. We, we, uh, uh, <laughs> We're keeping those shoulder blades intact. And then again, exhaling down. And I'll never forget this one when I learned it from Alan. We did it going back. Alan Herdman, my first mentor here. And then he had me stay there and take another breath. And just as I brought the elbows up, the blades needed to go down. Ooh, you see me pushing on my feet. And then, ooh, and then lower. And then exhale and come forward and up. And I remember one of the other teachers is telling me, Dear God, what is he trying to do to that girl? <laughs> when I was apprenticing at Homer Row, London. All right, you're coming back. Lock it in. You might have your diagonal help. Diagonal help. I'm not going back as far. Really working to keep the shoulder blades down. Inhaling to return, exhaling to come up, right? So many variations on this. Coming back, here's my diagonal. I love this one. I love to feel this diagonal line. This is my exhale. Hear my voice. <laughs> and coming forward and up, right? And you are slightly tipping down, the shoulder tips down. Use your eyes, gaze on that diagonal. The inside arm is what comes up, that blade stays down. You can stop anywhere along the way there. Remember, your form, this is Pilates, right? Your form is always, always one of your guiding, um, you know, guiding protocols. We, we don't care about, you know, you have to go four inches. You need to do it X, Y, Z. You, Always manipulate whatever exercise you're doing to fit you for that day, right? Here I can use the ball a little bit to help me remember my inner thighs. I can start with that elevation. I breathe in, come back. I could do my tip here. I could lift both arms because I have a halo on because I do it so well. Ah. <laughs> Chain 
change the breath pattern. Does not have to necessarily be an exhale there. Maybe you want to challenge an inhale, right? And curl forward and up. I would suggest uh, one of the areas to really pay attention to when you curl back or flex the spine back is that once the lumbar vertebra are not um, segueing, you know, dominoing into that light hammock shape, that's where you need to stop for you. Otherwise, you just kind of shear into the vertebra that's not moving, okay? Let me know how that one goes. This was a long one again.